single breath, just one after the other, after the other, after the other, attacking me, my credibility, who cares about the checks. He was protecting my wife, you know, as opposed to protecting the campaign. I mean, it was just amazing the things that, you know, that people will say in order to be within the MAGA universe, within the sphere of trust for MAGA stupidity. Hey, Romy, how are we today? And that's, and that's the problem, because that's what Donald Trump does. He gaslights, he blows this, he blows this dog whistle, and his people hear it. You see, we, the normal people, Democrats, we don't hear Trump's MAGA whistle for two reasons. One, we don't give a shit that he's blowing it. And two, because we realize how ridiculous the statements coming out of his mouth are, that we just ignore it, even if you do hear it. We just ignore it. And it's, it's sad. It really is. It's sad. That's not what a presidential race is supposed to look like, nor are we supposed to have. Let me be clear about this. The fact that people are joyous, and I know this is gonna come as a shock to many of you. The fact that people are joyous, that Donald Trump is sitting in a courtroom for the first out of four criminal trials. They're happy about it. And all they say is, you know, he needs to be held accountable. He needs to go to jail. Okay. Okay. I believe everybody who commits a crime should be held accountable and that accountability should be commensurate with the actual crime itself. All right. But to want to see somebody, even if it's Donald Trump, as repulsive a human being as he might be, or as he is, no, no, there's a judge, there's a jury, a jury of his peers, they will make a determination of innocent or guilt. But the fact that you have so much misinformation, disinformation, malinformation being put out there, like by, believe it or not, it's, hard, it's so hard to believe, by like the Ellie Honigs of the world, or the Nancy Maces of the world, or you know the Michael Avenatti's of the world, or this Tony Saruga of the world, or the Ted Cruz, the Marjorie Toilet Greens, the Lauren Handjob Holberts, the Matt Gaetzes, the Josh Hawley's, the Lindsey Graham's, the Ted Cruz's, you can, the, the Comer Pop the Jim Bag Jordans. There's so many of them that are out there carrying this idiot's water for him. Oh, let's go go fucking tomorrow, Lardo, and kiss the ring. Really? Really? What about the problem now with the down ballot? What about the fact that Laura Trump, possibly one of the most incompetent people you'll ever meet in your life, is now running the RNC and as stupid as she is, and I do believe she's stupid, but as stupid as she is, she will follow the direction that her father-in-law is telling her to do. Every single dollar raised by the RNC is going where? Let's, let's do a Donald right now, right? You know, um, who's gonna build the wall? We are. Who's gonna pay for it? Mexico, right? Who's gonna donate money to Trump MAGA? And what, what, what is that RNC money going to do? Give it to Donald Trump, right? And then, you know, what's the purpose? So that he could become president, he could pay his bills, he could do X, Y, and Z, right? Bullshit. What happens then to all the Republicans in the down ballot? What happens to them, none of them? will have money within which to mount a campaign. And I am a firm believer, we only have two parties in this country. It's really only two parties, the independent party, you know, <laughs> whatever, right? And then you have, you know, this, um, this new party that potentially RFK, hey, Romy, uh, that, that uh, RFK may end up running with whoever, come on. 
you know, uh, the whole Kennedy clan, the whole family came out in support of Biden. Imagine that. And we're not talking about one, two, three, four, right? Unhappy siblings and cousins with him. I'm talking about the whole family stood outside as a family, there's like a hundred of them. And each and every one of them turned around and pledged their loyalty, their support to Joe Biden. That's got to sting a little bit, huh? They're RFK. And by the way, I had a great interview with RFK on my podcast. I said to him, you know, I think you're, I think you're crazy. Fuck you. You have no right to question what this woman said happened to her. One, you weren't there. Two, this was adjudicated in a court of law. All right. And the fact of the matter is he was determined to have sexually assaulted her. In fact, under the statute, it's, it, it's considered rape. So who are you to make any to make any argument on behalf of anybody, whether it's Donald Trump or John Doe? Who are you to make that argument to denigrate her or to refute her claims? You weren't there. You don't know shit about anything, right? Um, and you really should keep your opinion to yourself because I assure you that if it was your relative you would want to see, hey, PNW girly, welcome. Um, you would want to see justice for your family member as well. And you should be looking at E. Jean Carroll, not like some just arbitrary woman, but you should be looking at her like a relative and that she received validation and she's been vindicated for a story that she has told many people over a long period of time. And if by chance that he was vindicated and it was determined that he had not done it, and somebody said, no, nah, bullshit, you know, Donald is that kind of guy who said, fuck you on that too. The same exact opposite. He was tried, he was found liable, he was convicted, Plain and simple. And nobody should have the right within which to question um, her on, on this allegation. Too late. And maybe like if you could explain legally, like <clears throat> is there a difference between guilty criminal and liable civil? Yeah, so of course, because if he was found guilty uh, criminal, because it was never a criminal matter. Mm -hmm. It was always brought as a civil matter. And I'm going to use, for example, the O.J. Simpson. Oh, wow, this is nice. Oh, I almost felt like I was someplace else for a moment. Um, this was always a civil matter, meaning that it's a monetary case, not a case that could involve incarceration. That's where the criminal comes from, the, the criminal aspect to it. I guess, so, I guess I'm just, my question is, is that just because they use the word liable in civil court, does that make him not guilty? Because it seems like when I talk to MAGA about no, no, it- I'm sorry, to the, it's to the contrary, you got that backwards. If you are liable civilly, right. you're guilty. Right. And that's what I try to explain to people that tell me that they say, well, he wasn't found guilty in civil criminal court. It was just a civil case. That doesn't mean so anything. What? So what? So, so what? In fact, not only was he found uh, civilly liable for his actions, it also came with defamation claims too for denying it and calling her a liar and trying to destroy her, you know, the rest of her life to the tune of over $90 million. So before these MAGA morons decide that they want to challenge you on the distinction between civil and criminal, I don't even understand why that's even relevant. You're liable criminally, you go to jail. You're liable civilly, you pay a fine. 
You pay an amount. Yeah. Just the way it is. Yep. Well, it's nice to get that clarification from you. I appreciate it. You got it. Enjoy the enjoy the beautiful Cali weather. Um, we'll see you very very soon. Yeah. This is this journey is a um, this is a tough one. This is a lot tougher than you may possibly imagine. Imagine that one of the most significant forces on the planet is attacking you and blowing a dog whistle that only his MAGA supporters can hear. But it's not even a direct command. It's almost like a command to interpret what you think that he wants. So based upon their lack of, um, let's say, control, self-control, you have no idea what the ultimate you know, result will be with some of these people. And it makes it very, very, um, it makes life very tenuous to say the least. Well, <clears throat> I can speak for myself that I think that what you're doing is very honorable and I appreciate you doing what you're doing, knowing very well that it's um, not going to be easy or safe probably. No, you're, you're right for both of those. It's not easy and it's definitely not safe, but. Uh, you're I'll, making a difference and we appreciate it. I'll try. Thank you. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Lot, lot, lots of love. All right. Thanks so much. You got it. You see, that's what this community is all about. That's what this community is all about. And it's not necessarily, this doesn't have to be simply because this person happens to believe similar uh, to myself. It's because she has the right to express her belief. And she wanted just to ask an incredibly important question, the distinction between criminal and civil liability. And how would you respond to MAGAs that think that just because you're not criminally liable means that you're not liable at all? I mean, how does that even make any sense? Terrible. It's not terrible. It's stupid. It's ignorant. It's just ignorant. I, I and I and I don't I don't get it. I and you know I'm, I'm not I'm not one who really enjoys just sitting here and turning around and castigating somebody based upon.